Well, amidst the lockdown we saw in 2020, also the second wave of the coronavirus and the brief but nascent recovery that was seen as far as the commercial real estate trends were concerned, Bushman and Wakefield in a recent note actually went ahead and said that there is a brief recovery that is being seen across the entire commercial real estate space. Now, yeah, Cushman and Wakefield did speak to ET now on the basis of their report. First, let's have a look at the report and the trends that it has unearthed. A 5% sequential increase in commercial leasing was seen in uh, Jan to March of 2021 uh, compared to Q4 of 2020. The first quarter, according to Cushman and Wakefield, is traditionally a slow quarter. However, this marginal growth that the industry has seen does indicate that there is a significant amount of resilience that is seen as far as the sector is concerned. 2019 was a blockbuster year for commercial real estate, but 2020 and 2021 have seen significant dips, uh, have seen significant pause as far as market activity is concerned. Now, when you're talking about the key takeaways, gross leasing showed almost a 5% growth in uh, Q uh, Q1 2021, a sequential 5% increase. Mumbai, Delhi, NCR and Bengaluru were the most active commercial real estate markets. Mumbai witnessed gross leasing volumes of close to 2.96 million square feet, a 34% sequential growth, while Delhi NCR leasing growth was actually a degrowth, 17% sequential degrowth. Bangalore, again a 27% decline, but significant amount of activity seen over here. Some trends that they've witnessed is that enterprises are open to flexible workplaces rather than committing to long-term office structures. Uh, also, there has been almost a 60% increase as far as the offtake of flexible seating is concerned. We did have Cushman and Wakefield on ET now today. They told us that, you know, visibility last year was very poor. This year, there has been a significant amount of bounce back. Deal making is again back into the picture. Q1 is typically a slow quarter across the entire real estate space. They are saying that they are expecting to see a sharp bounce back as far as commercial real estate is concerned. They are also expecting to see growth as far as uh, leasing trends is concerned. And they expect that 2021 will be a much better year compared to 2020 after the entire ending of the localized lockdowns and the ending uh, of the pandemic or as coronavirus vaccine does come into the picture. They believe that uh, most offices still continue to prefer uh, people and employees coming into the office rather than having a work from home culture throughout or a work from anywhere culture throughout is what Cushman and Wakefield believe. Also, what they're saying is that deal making clearly was halted in 2020. You did see some offshoots are uh, coming back after the unlocking of the economy. But at this point of time, again, a lot of deals have gone back into the back burner on the back of the fact that a uh, significant amount of localized lockdowns are still in the picture. What they're saying is that uh, smaller firms